Hi, Danny Designs here, DE Squared. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. This portion of the video, short, but it shows the um, time for a time when I was building the uh, footers for the to sit the tracks of the sawmill on. You know, it is as easy as it sounds. You know, it has to be in a straight line, proper distance, level, and then both sets have to be, you know, level with each other, proper distance apart, and uh, uh, not a t real tough job. But you know, just you can't come out and do it in 10 minutes. So that's what that's what this this portion of the video shows is just. The pouring of those little footers and then uh, uh, letting that thing dry and make sure it's all level and all that good stuff. All right. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Well, I um, started clearing a little bit more where the sawmill is going to go. You know, right in there. And, uh, I'm not sure exactly. I think I'm going to have the sawmill go that way. Obviously level that off a little bit more so I can put the, my, my sensitive plan, put the logs here, pick them up with the backhoe, put them on the sawmill there, do the sawing, and then like have a trailer for the scabs and a trailer for the whatever I create, 2x10, two 2x two whatever, there, so then I can just pull the trailer and store it wherever I'm going to put it, but just kind of make it a system where I'm logs, sawmill, trailer. Could go the opposite because there's a burn ditch right over there, a burn hole right there. So I'm thinking about bringing the original tree up here, trimming it up, bringing the maybe put the logs there, put the logs there after I trim the trees up, throw everything in the burn pit except what I'm going to use, put the maybe the logs there. Lift them up onto the sawmill, cut them. Have a trailer for scabs, trailer for uh, the wood, and then that way I can just do that. So that may that may be the plan I do too. Just, it'll be kind of a as I go situation, but you know how that goes. <laughs> you never know. So the good thing is I've got plenty of land here to do what I want to do with, and uh, getting ready to move in that thing pretty soon. So we love living with my parents, and they've been great. You know, they're just something about having your own space. You know, the parents are awesome. Real awesome, especially with the help they've been doing. So, all right, that's it for the day. Adios! Not sure what happened again. My camera's kind of messing up on me. Um, but it looks like it's working now. Uh, like I was describing, these are the footers for my sawmill. Kind of really excited, ready to get after it get this done but I gotta I'm taking my time because I can measure twice, cut once, that type of theory which sometimes I don't do I'll get in a hurry. And uh, end up doing more work than I need to, but I think I'm doing okay on this and pull these footers today. Let them dry. Hopefully tomorrow I can pull up the wood, reuse the wood on the footers on this side. Maybe pour it tomorrow, which will be Sunday the fifteenth I believe. And uh put the footers down then maybe bring that sawmill up here on Monday or Tuesday and maybe start cutting some wood on Tuesday. All depends. Everything's looking good out here. So anyway, alright. Have a good one. Time to get back to work. Well, put the water in the bucket, put the concrete in the wheelbarrow. Mix it up with the hole, put the concrete, and the forms. Alright, let that dry, then I'll be able to take those forms off probably tomorrow. If it doesn't rain, it looks like it might rain, which is cool, it needs to rain, but it won't, it won't affect it, it'll be dried enough and set that nothing bad will happen, it'll take it longer to cure. Alright, good day of work, good day of work. Well, this morning I was able to come out and set the standards, the forms, for the uh, other side of the uh, sawmill. So, 
got them done, got them put in the ground, got the concrete mixed. It started raining like crazy right at the end, so you can see some a little bit of roughness, I think, to the concrete, which was caused by the, the rain. Oh, I lined them up pretty good right there. They're pretty, pretty good. You can't see the other ones because some dirt splashed up on them. Maybe you can see them a little bit. There's one there and there. You know, they're side by side down here. You see them, it's got a little dirt on top of them, red dirt. But tomorrow, uh, I'll probably be able to pull these forms up and uh, um, bring the uh, sawmill down here. Maybe get it all set up tomorrow or at least sitting here. Maybe not all put together and running, but be able to do that. See what we get done. It's been, been fun working on it. It's hard, but fun. And can't wait to get it going. So hopefully, I can get some live footage of us putting it together and stuff. Try to remember to do that or have my mom set it, do it, or something like that. So you get some live footage. Okay. That's all on the sawmill for today.